in the house and face a situation. And he prayed a certain prayer. And I looked at him and said, what kind of a man is this? Some people went to one of their villages and bent down one of his branches and raped the women. And he stood in the pulpit, and I was there in Bible school. He placed his hand on the Bible and he said, from the king of that village to the least, let them fall like flies. And I looked at him and said, what kind of prayer is this? In the matters of days, the men of that village began to fall like flies, they were dying. And they sent a delegation to come to the king of that particular city, Benin, the upper of Benin, to beg. And in the host said, anyone that steps foot on these grounds to beg, let them fall like flies. Bishop Nyaku knows what I'm telling you about. And when I went to Bible school, the Lord said to me, He said, Son, Idahosa is your Bible school. Watch him, steady him. It's your Bible school. And when I came to Ghana and nothing was working, I went back to Benin. I said, Papa, can you give me something to do? I want to work in your ministry here. He placed his forehead on mine and he hit me like this. And he said, the same mantle that is on me is on you. Go back to God. When you, when you come of age, your priority in life changes. There are so many things that don't matter to me anymore. I went to one of my sons there. He has a mega, mega, mega check. One of these African countries. And he took me around, showed me everything. And I knew exactly what he wanted me to say. I didn't say it. He wanted me to say, congratulations, I'm very impressed, you've done well, and I didn't see anything. I intentionally didn't see anything. Because you see, when I used to work with Dr. Samuel and some of the fathers, when I became an archbishop, Dr. Samuel won't call me archbishop. He never called me archbishop. Say, son. And I just wanted him to acknowledge I'm an archbishop. It was like, so what? Look at someone and say, so what? Yeah. These children who cry for recognition and validation. Sons and mature people don't cry over validation and recognition. I didn't say anything. As we were at the airport, I said, Papa, so what do you think about everything I showed you? <laughs> I said, what did you show me? He said, everything. I said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But it was clear to me about what his priority is. He just wanted me to be impressed and to say that you've done very well. I'm very impressed about you. I'm very proud of you. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Not saying anything to get into your head. Amen? Yeah. 